welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video if you are new welcome welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so so much for always watching my video and subscribing to my channel guys today is a new video this is an intro to a new video you already know <laughs> i'm joking anyways guys so um uh to open up this vlog i'm going on a date <laughs> it is my man <laughs> And yeah, so um, I thought, let me just do an intro to this video before, you know, and also show you how gorgeous my face is and how gorgeous my lashes are. Because Tessa on the beat, <laughs> I'm joking guys, Tessa did my lashes, Lash Dolls um, SA. And yes, guys, um, anyways, this is an intro to this video. Let me show you what I'm wearing and let's get started. <laughs> okay, so... I am wearing this shirt from H&M. I got this shirt last year sometime. And I'm wearing those shorts from Zara. These shorts are a bit cheeky. Yeah. And then I am wearing... Um, woo! I'm wearing these shoes. Yeah. These are the shoes I'm wearing. I told you those shorts are cheeky. But I'm going with my man. So, anyways, guys. Um, this is an interest in this video. And I hope you guys... Um, subscribe like and enjoy this video and um yeah so let's go guys Ooh, 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 ooh. 
fire, put it out with water, but now you're drowning. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you, but I don't wanna be like you. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you, but I don't wanna be like you. 'Cause I could do, I could do better. I could do, I could do better.
just can't stop thinking about you I just can't stop thinking about you Okay, they're bringing it I just can't stop thinking about you in the morning so I'm going to um, unpack some of the stuff that we got I just want to show you something um, I got these <coughs> dog beds um, because hey guys my dogs are getting bigger now and that bed that they had is actually like too small for both of them so I got this at my credit was 260 for one I decided to get two because um they are bigger and um they are always fighting guys and so yeah but anyway so it's a pack of three um so it looks like this it's a bed and then it's a pillow so literally you put this inside here like this yeah and then this is a blankie i know winter's almost over but guys it's cold so i decided they do have one blanket that they share so the reason why i got this bed specifically is that it came with this uh um what do you call this this blankie Ooh, causing a mess now yeah so this is the other one i'm not going to take this one out so the other one is blue and this one is gray um yeah so i got those two beds for the dogs and then what else i want to show you so yeah i am going to unpack uh, the groceries and then um pack the laundry cupboards maybe i might just show you guys how i pack the laundry cupboard morning guys uh today is a sunday i actually thought um i wasn't going to include this day vlog but i thought you know what um the longer the vlog the better so hopefully i can get to edit it before i upload this vlog today so I'm Sanja, I am going to meet up with Ufuyo, my friend, um, in Melrose, in Melrose, uh, in Joburg. Yeah, I was supposed to be there at 11, but we have past 11, go. Um, but also, she's also running a bit late, so I think she's going to at the same time. Um, yeah, so I am going to have a brunch, guys. Um, I think I'm in my brunch era. <laughs> In my brunch era, Sana, I'm going to have a brunch with Ukoyo. And then um, after that, obviously, I go home. Um, listen, Peggy, so that's a nice thing. I woke up very early and I cooked. And yeah, because I knew that I am going to have brunch and I might be back, like, some I'm going for. Go for. So I didn't want to get home when I'm going to pick so I was just like you know what let me wake up and do the Lord's work and cook before I go and we're going to Paul's um, in Melrose we were going to do the one in William Nicole but that one is so small guys I don't like that Paul it's so small and the fact that like it's in the middle of the, like it's in the middle of other restaurants or this light it's in the middle of other restaurants I, that's one thing i don't like as well um but yeah so we're doing the one in melrose i think i've been there once or twice um so i don't know but okay 
yeah, that's what we're doing. And after that, uh, she's catching a flight back to Cape Town. And then, yeah, I call it a day. And then I quickly go and edit this video. So, anyways, um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys are having a lovely Sunday. It's the 9th of August. Happy Women's Day. Um, yeah. So I actually woke up very early today. Um, I did some invoicing in the morning because I've got deliveries that have to go out today. And I won't be I won't be here. So yeah, I just wanted to prepare. Uh, I am going to a podcast interview. Um yeah, I'm going to be there at nine. Um, that's in Boxburg. And then I had a day planned with my friend Tumi um, in Hartis. We are going on a boat a cruise <laughs> um, for Women's Day. And yeah, um, so I've got a really busy day today. So I wanted to just wake up early, do some work, and then get ready. And, 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 and yeah, so that's really about it. So that's my day today. Um, so as soon as I'm done bathing, I just want to quickly go and check on the guys and then after that get ready and then make my way to Boxburg. From there, I will then go to my friend's doom and then we will travel together to Hartis. Um, I will be in my princess, in my what? I will be in my passenger princess era. <laughs> I will be my passenger princess Erica. because she will drive us there. So I will be in my car, probably at her house, I don't know. And then we will drive together to Hartis. And then, yeah, so that's my day. Um, hopefully I can take you uh, with, um, uh, hopefully I can take you, hopefully I can take you with. And I got my nails done yesterday. Got my nails done yesterday. And I went for like my maintenance um going to one year so um although I'm not done but yeah um I did what I could yesterday with the amount of time I had 
So yeah, so that is it really guys. I will probably see you guys in the day. Uh Vuyo, welcome to the Agri Duo. Thank you guys. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's a pleasure. We've been wanting, we've been Carol and I have this thing where we look at like farming people who inspire us. We're, and we're like more like stalking them. Yes. <laughs> and we're like, oh that'd be that good when I grow up. And we're like, oh, Vuyo. And I'm then, gonna invite and she's pretty and she jumps and she gives us lunch boxes. Yeah. Lunchbox content for beauty content, all of the above. So yeah, we are even speaking of how do you manage it all, hey guys? I'm a mom, I'm a wife, guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm a busy woman. <laughs> yes, I'm a busy girl. So okay, so I'm from the Eastern Cape, originally from the Eastern Cape, small town called East London. Mm -hmm. Yeah, born and bred there, and I came to Johannesburg 2013. Mm -hmm. 2013, so I've been here for a good 10 years now. Mm -hmm. You're a job baker now. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I'm a job baker. I'm not going back. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case my mom's watching this, I am not yeah, so anyways, uh, I came to Joburg 10 years ago and I studied at UJ, I did accounting. Mm -hmm. And then straight after UJ, I went to corporate and then I realized it's not for me. Mm -hmm. um, and then I started a beauty business. So a beauty business and that didn't make it past two years um, uh, I think people know already um, it was due to COVID um, so my business did not survive and I was just like what is the next thing guys what is the next thing after this failed business and I knew that I had to do something that would not end up the same way as my beauty business mm -hmm. so for instance i knew that i needed to build a business that was more sustainable yes. um, so that's the one thing COVID taught me that a business must be sustainable yeah, yeah. so yeah anyways um that's how i got into farming and i realized okay now this i can make it work i can make it work because every day guys you have to eat yes so you have to eat so yeah, that's how I got into farming. Mm. Definitely, because each business has to be uh, sustainable and profitable. We always say farming is also a business. Absolutely. And I like the fact that you did accounting, so mm. I can bet you just proper with your accounts and compliance mm. and everything on the farm. Good to see. Yeah. And if there's anything COVID told us, it was like farming was very much critical. Absolutely. Food was just one of those categories that was like high up there. We were mm. eating so much. <laughs> During COVID, we were eating so, so much. So that was your case study. <laughs> like, what can you say? How, how much do I eat a day? I, this is the business I want to get in. This is where the money is at. And just like you're very new to farming, right? You've been here like what, about two years into farming? 18 months. Actually. 18 months. And how has that journey been? Mm -hmm. The past 18 months have been really, really a good sense of business. Mm. You get the best and you can get the worst days. Mm. Yes, so. it's it's not so easy, you know. Mm. You have to go through some things as well to get to where you want to absolutely, be. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Okay, so now you you are Vuyo. Um, you've just gone out of COVID mm -hmm. and then the beauty business just didn't work out. Now you're thinking farming. How do you even start? How do you even know what, what to plant, how to go about it? Mm -hmm how to take care of your plants to make sure that they are good quality and you can be able to send them to the market to feed us all. Okay, so um, firstly, uh, when I started, um, when I wanted to start rather, um, I sat down with my husband and I was just like, you know what, there's this girl on Instagram, her name is Mbani, and she's doing really amazing in this field, in the farming field. and. I literally stalked her, like you guys were saying. Like you stalked, I stalked her. <laughs> yes. And then I saw who she follows um, in the farming industry. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? Um, which um, commodities are they uh, uh, planting and all of that. So I was just like, okay, if I start like this, mm -hmm. I might get somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I would DM people and they would not respond. <laughs> they would not respond, guys. And I was They're just like, like it's a sign. It's a sign. I need to now... And like I need to now do that research myself. Mm. And then that's when I was like reading more about okay. planting. I went to YouTube. 
YouTube was the best school, guys. Oh. And it's free. It's free. Just Yo, need data. YouTube, guys, taught me everything. I actually followed this one farmer. Now I forgot her name on YouTube. She's um, from Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. And um, she was like, I built my house from selling cabbage. Wow. Mm-hmm. And that inspired me because cab- when you look at cabbage, it's such a, you know, like, oh, it's cabbage. You know, mm-hmm. it's a small... You know, we only eat it in January when we're broke. <laughs> you know, and I was just like, and she bought her house from just planting cabbage. Oh, wow. um, but then she was like, she was so disciplined. She mm. knew that this could take her far. And when I started following like a more farming, you know, stories, I realized that, you know what, it's not just a business. You also like have to live that lifestyle. Mm. So for me, it was like, okay, if I follow these people, mm. if I see what they're doing, I go and um, mingle with people, network. Um, so I started attending these farming in Dabas, all of these um, farming, uh, what do you call them? Um, conferences. Conferences, yes. Engagements. I, I, yes, I started networking around farmers because that's where I wanted to go. Yes. And then that's where I learned some of the things that I didn't know. Um, yeah, so I started there and then I realized if I could keep going like this, mm. I would definitely get to where these big farmers are. Oh, amazing. Mm. That is amazing. Just, just going on the beginning track of your journey, people always say, oh my gosh, I don't have land. That's why they don't start. Mm-hmm. Did you not just buy land or just lease from the get-go and see what's, hey, you know what, let's just give this a go. If it works, it works, then we'll buy later. Or how did you go about it? Okay, so luckily with me, um, I always say this, like people think that, you know, I just bought land or I did agriculture at school no i didn't so with me my husband had land and initially he wanted to do um poultry farming um, okay. he wanted to go into chickens so whilst i was in the beauty that's what he wanted to do so when um my beauty business you know like collapsed and died mm. i was just like okay can i use that land oh. mm, yes yeah. so so that's how i acquired or got the land Mm-hmm. Oh, smart lady. Mm-hmm. And it's so nice that your husband also has a bit of interest in the agri space so you guys can sit together and we like phase one done, we're now moving into phase two. Yeah. So to have that sort of nice support.
I'ma make a better way. Hey, 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 nigga, catch a break. Better way. Hey guys, <laughs> we are on an impromptu date. Um, we went to church and we decided, you know what, the kids didn't come to church, so let's do a date. Um, so we actually tried out this restaurant, this new restaurant called Greenhouse in Hatfield. And guys, the food, the food is amazing. Um, yeah, so we are going to try out their cocktails as well um, now. And yeah, I want to show you guys this place. Like, yo, it's so amazing. Like, now the sun is literally on top of my face. Yeah. This is a nice place, though. Um, it's in Hatfield called Greenhouse on Festival. Um, a friend of mine recommended this place, so we were like, you know what, let's try it out. Um, yeah, it's so, so nice, guys. Like, I feel like I'm not in Hatfield. I feel like I'm in Santon or something, right, love? It feels like we're in Santon, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it feels like we're in Santon and so nice. It actually opened like three days ago, I think on the 11th. And yeah, guys, please don't mind my lashes. I'm going to be them tomorrow. So I'm not going through a lot. So we went to church and we decided, you know what? Let's just do a small young date for us. Uh, I'm also leaving in the week, so thank you. Yeah, so anyways, I'm leaving um, in the week, so we won't be able to do dates or whatever, date night or whatever. So we were like, let's, you know what, let's just do it now. Anyways, guys, I will talk to you. I will show you around. I'll definitely show you around how it looks. Let me change my camera actually to show you guys from where we're sitting. our drink so this one is a bubbly cocktail what's the name of this cocktail okay and this is a what did vsop want yeah remy martin vsop remy martin vsop okay and mine is the bubble craze oh okay cool thank you this looks so cute and ice cold I'm going to give you a first impression of the drink. Um, what I think about the drink. It looks very pretty. I hope it tastes as pretty. This is sour. Sour ish. That's really nice. It tastes guava. I can taste guava. Um, yeah, really, I've, I've never had something like this before. I can taste the guava. I think the guava is here. I said guava or apricot. I can't, I can't tell. <laughs> I can definitely taste the bubbles. Yeah, which is good. That was a mistake, bro. Because the chef.
flight 321. Please go and take your seat. Hello, party people. This is Captain Kim speaking. Welcome aboard Binga Airways. After takeoff, we'll pump up the sound system because we're going to...